Welcome to Super Stock Screener, and thank you for subscribing. This short tutorial was created to help new members, such as yourself, understand how to log into your account for the first time and how to edit your account in the event you need to change your password, as an example. From your account page, I will also show you how to navigate the site and provide you with a brief description of the premium features you now have access to as a paying subscriber. So let's get started. At the top right to any page of the site, you see the login link. Click on Login. This will of course take you to the sign in page where you answer your email address and password and click on sign in to get started. So I'm going to do the same. Once you are signed in, you land on the My Account page. Just below where it says Sign in successfully in the green area, you'll see the type of plan that you have. So in my case, it says you are subscribed to Superstock Screener Yearly Plan. If you have a monthly plan, it will simply say Monthly Plan. Just below that, you see the Edit My Account button. You click this if you want to change your password or your email address or essentially the credentials you use to sign into your account. Just below that, you have the My Favorite Stock List. Now, the My Favorite Stock List is a set of stocks that you, as a user, will continue to build over time. So, for example, say you're running a stock screen that looks extremely interesting to you, and some of the stocks are stocks you want to track in the future. Next to the company name, you can click the star, and as soon as you click the star, this is anywhere on the site, if you click the star next to the company name, it will automatically be added to the My Favorite Stock List. Now, like I promised at the beginning of the tutorial, I'll very briefly cover the three main features on the site. If you want much more in-depth coverage of each of these features, by all means click on to watch those dedicated tutorials. By this, I'm referring to the tutorial for the stock ratings, the tutorial for the portfolios, and the one for the stock screener. Let's start by clicking on Stock Screener. I'm referring to the Stock Screener tab on the main menu. After the page loads, you'll see in large fonts just below the main menu, Stock Screener, so you know which page you're on. You'll see several different filter criteria. Initially, the most important ones that most of our members are interested in are the ratings. So you have the ability, for example, to filter for stocks that have a strong sell rating or a strong buy rating. Previous ratings, so if you want to look at stocks that were, for example, previously a sell and now are a strong buy, you can actually use this criteria right here to filter for those exact stocks. You can also choose the exchange. For example, some people might have a preference for stocks in the NASDAQ. And, of course, you can choose your sector. If you scroll down just a little bit, click on Add Criteria, and you'll see all the criteria that you can actually filter for. And most of these in this list, of course, are valuations or different kinds of financial criteria. Now, like I promised, I just want to keep this a very brief description of the screener, and if you want to learn how to use it to its full potential, I invite you to check out the tutorial on the stock screener. Now, I'm going to jump to the stock ratings tab, where you can quickly see how to use your stock ratings feature. So if you click on the stock ratings tab, just below the main menu, it says Stock Ratings, updated monthly, and the latest date when the stock ratings were last changed. Just below it is the box where you can enter the ticker and click on Get Ratings. It's that simple. So, for example, if I'm interested in Intel, I will type in INTC, which is Intel's ticker symbol, and I'll click on Get Ratings, which I won't do right now, and then I'll see how Intel is currently rated and I'll also see how it was rated last month. Finally, the Portfolios tab. If you click on Portfolios, you'll see our four portfolios and how they performed for the last several periods, such as one day, one month, three months, six months, etc. You'll see if I go down the list is the Small Cap Portfolio followed by the S&P 600 Total Return. The Small Cap Portfolio is our portfolio. The S&P 600 TR, for total return, is the benchmark we are comparing ourselves to. The same goes for the mid-cap portfolio and the benchmark, the large-cap portfolio and its benchmark, and of course the all-cap portfolio. Now, if you want to see, in depth, for example, what are the stocks in the small-cap portfolio, or how has the small-cap portfolio performed over time, and you want to see the charts of that performance, Click on Small Cap and now you are on the Small Cap Portfolio page, where you are reminded that it is rebalanced monthly and when was the performance last updated. 
Below, there is a description of the portfolio, and below that are cumulative performance charts. Finally, if you continue scrolling, you'll see the monthly performances for that portfolio, and just below are the portfolio holdings. I'm scrolling to show you the small cap portfolio because I know a lot of members and prospective members are very interested to this portfolio due to its outstanding performance since we launched back in 2006. That concludes this short tutorial. I invite you, like I've said earlier, to check out our additional tutorials, to understand the features on this site, and to maximize the benefits of this site. Especially as a Pang subscriber, I really want you to get the most out of this site. So please, check them out, and of course, if there are questions that you have after watching the tutorial, or if you don't feel like watching them altogether, we invite you to call us. We are more than happy to chat with you. Our phone number is 1-866-796-7386. And you can also find that phone number in the header of our website. Thank you very much. Have a good day.